Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm sorry for the lighting. I was going to do it earlier when the sun was out, but um, I actually uh, went to go have dinner with my mama. So, um, but I want to talk about things that, I guess, when people post to be. Um, I get stopped on the street a lot, you know, because of my blog, because of Instagram, and you know, some people may see my blog, vlogs, or Instagram and have this perception of me. And, um, you know, and that's cool. But I do get stopped on the street. And every now and then, it's always, like, people in tears. Like, oh, my God, I met you. Oh, my God, you don't know what you've done for me. And, you know, then I start crying because I'm a big baby. But um, then I get the people who are like, you know what, I totally miss, con I just thought you were someone totally different. And you're really cool. And I am. Like, you want to talk to me? Talk to me. That's all it is. Like, I don't start drama to start drama. You know, I put what is going on out there because I know there's like 20 million people going through it. And, um... It's just my life, you know, and if I can tell my story and get it out there and save a life, totally, or make someone feel less alone, I'm gonna do it. And, um, you know, my pain, I wear like diamonds around my neck. Really, I do. Because that necklace, each diamond is for someone who has said I made a difference in their lives. Now, it's not the biggest diamond necklace, quote unquote, but you know, I take pride in knowing that my story or my situations help people. Um, I am never mean intentionally, um, but I will say I was that girl who was just freaking mean at one point. In my early 20s, after I broke up with my ex, um, I just destroyed anyone and everyone. I was the girl who picked on girls, who made their life hell, and did things to them. And I feel like women who do that are hurt women, because I have been there. But, you know, today I got, oh my god, you're nothing like I thought you were, I'm so sorry. and. I also got, oh my god, you're just like your Instagram. And I'm like, yeah, like who else am I supposed to be? I can only be me. I have highs, I have lows. Um, just because I don't expose where I work, by the way, I know you saw a comment, I work in sales, which I do advertising, but I also do marketing. So, um, and that I take really good pride in because I've worked my butt off at these places. and. To know that I can take care of myself without a man does wonders because being able to do things for my man and him do it for me back is a relationship, you know? And to do things for my mom, take her out to dinner, you know, it's just, it makes me feel so good. Um... Sorry, someone was messaging me on Facebook. Um, so it makes me feel really good to know when people approach me or read my blog or see my vlogs, they say, you know what, that's Stephanie, that's who you get. Um, my boyfriend, when he first met me, was on my Instagram and he was like, you know what, you are just like your Instagram. And all my friends are like, you know what, that's Stephanie. And I guess what I'm trying to say is, be who you post to be. If you're posting to be this one amazing person try to do it practice it but you can't be the evil villain in real life and then post you're a disney princess that's not how it works because at the end of the day your reality shows and i just never understood that i mean i i didn't because i used to do it but now that i've grown up and i went through hell I totally get it, you know? Um, freak. Let your freak flag fly. You know what I mean? Be who you are. Post who you are. You know? Um, 
you don't know whose life you're saving by being real and being who you are you know what i mean like let them see you for you and if you're gonna post you're an amazing person on instagram be that amazing person and never hurt anybody in reality um hurt people hurt people and i understand that because i used to hurt people because i was a hurt person just post be who you post to be you know what i mean simple as that okay bye guys by the way i cut my hair and my boyfriend totally hates it he's like your long hair is gone and i'm like ciao baby and he says he's gonna cut his hair bald and i'm like anyways bye guys